We are continuing our journey through Alec Murdaugh land on uh, this edition of the program. Yesterday, uh, we got up to about uh, 26 minutes into the story of Alec Murdaugh and the madness that is Alec Murdaugh and his um, apology, I guess we could kind of call it, uh, if you will, to the victims after the victim impact statements in court. We still got another half of this to go through. Stacey Cole is here, and if you're watching us now on YouTube, this is your debut on camera. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if anyone's been curious, uh, check us out on uh, on YouTube at uh, Hidden Killers Pod, uh, and you can also watch this with us as we go through it. Uh, any any thoughts, uh, Stacey, on what you saw yesterday, what you heard yesterday? Has it sunk in any more of, uh, I mean, we know how depraved this man was, but any, any new thoughts uh, now that it's sunk in a little bit? Yeah, it, for me, it's it's more of um, selfish stuff. Like, if I had somebody reading their victim impact statement or somebody apologizing for having done something to me, I don't think I could sit there quietly and listen to the bullshit that is just flowing <laughs> out of his mouth. First of all, Tony, you know me better than a lot of people. You know I would be like, that's bullshit, man. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Shut yeah. your mouth. I'd be all over it because... I, I I don't know how these people in this courtroom are sitting there just listening. And and maybe yeah. they were warned off camera or off camera, off, you know, before everything started filming that you need to be quiet. You can't say anything. You can't be vocal, yeah. especially if you're sitting in a courtroom. I get that. But they'd be hauling my ass out in cuffs too, because yeah. I'd probably lunge at him. I think Buford, the uh, and I'm just made up this name Buford. Uh, the uh, the the officer in there uh, would probably be picking you up and taking you out yep. of the uh, the room. Yep. Uh, as as I think a lot of people were probably feeling that way a bit when some of this was going on. You could just kind of read the body language of some of the people. But uh, we'll see how far this continues. Uh, I do want to get to the sentencing at some point because I think Judge Newman uh, made some really good points. Whether we make that on this edition of the program for today or not. I don't know, but we will get there. So let's pick it up. We're about 26 minutes into Alec Murdaugh. He's now about to apologize to his third grade English teacher uh, because, uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's actually, I believe he's going now to apologize to his mother. And I'm not sure if she's still around, but uh, hey, it seems like dead people are still up for apologizing too uh, with Alec Murdaugh. Let's continue. <laughs> Lick your cheek. <coughs> Got a little dry mouth Next, going on. I want to apologize to my mother and father in law, although I hate the term in law, as they have always treated me like one of their own. Until you killed their daughter. Right. It kind of changed the dynamic of Thanksgiving a little bit at the family. Also to my sister-in-law, my ex-sister, Erin, her husband, my brother-in-law, my nieces, who I adore. Can you imagine being the niece of Alec Murdaugh at this second in time? And <laughs> like, no. oh, Alec adores you. That's, that's got to give you warm and fuzzies at night to know that Alec, run, run. Alec adores you. My aunts and uncles and cousins on that side. I'm so very sorry that I let you down. And I am so very sorry that I humiliated you. And I am so very sorry. And I had busted back to this that I had negatively affected Max Judge is counting down to 30 some days Remember And Lex Notice we have yet to see a tear out of Alec Murdoch A lot of sniffling Yeah, not one A lot of issues with his mouth the dry mouth, which if you're anxious, that kind of can happen. Mm -hmm. Hard also, to believe someone like him would be anxious, but. 
apologize because I know and I know in my heart the actions that I'm pleading guilty to here today and the stress from all of that Contributed to the health issues of the third of the three best men that I know. Who do you think the three best men are that he knows? If you had to take a guess, who are his, Alex? His pop pop. Yep. Um, the remaining child that's still alive? I don't think so. We'll, no? But we'll find out. One more okay. for the family feud. Okay. Any other one? The three best men that he knows. Um, JJ. I'm going JJ. Okay. I'm going to go Pop Pop. I think it's grandfather uh, oh. uh, Buster Sr. Uh, and I think there might have been another one. I'm not quite sure. But let's hear who he thinks they are. We had the family feud sound effect, right? Pop T. I know. Everyone's looking like, geez, bored. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Especially the guy they're showing right now. Holy cat. Every day, how my actions have affected him. And all of you and it needs a hold in me. Next. It eats a hole. It eats a hole. It's taking longer than I had anticipated. Um yeah, next a little bit. is my brother Randy. <laughs> Randy. I say that I am sorry to you because I know I know for a fact that the actions that I'm pleading guilty to here today have caused you terrible, terrible problems. I am so sorry that my actions, my actions alone, have caused you to be so wrongly and falsely attacked And that my actions have caused your integrity to so wrongly be questioned because I know and those who know you know those who know that those you who are know you know. Without a doubt, no, you know. One of the most honest and high integrity people <laughs> that's ever walked this earth. Wow. Ever walked this earth. Now, I, I have nothing bad to say about the brother, but at the same point, um, I think the last person you want vouching for your integrity is Alec Murdoch. <laughs> I you were so. Even... That's not somebody. That's not resume material right there. Like, shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Walk. Go away. Go away. Please don't mention me. <clears throat> and I 
Somehow made that an issue. <laughs> somehow. Somehow. Uh, you you choose this song any, to order pizza? <laughs> any negative minded person as it pertains to Randy. I'd like a pepperoni. To go and find one stuffed crust. Single <laughs> person. Easy bread. Single person. Anywhere. Who truly Buffalo knows wings. you. Yeah. Who truly knows him. Doesn't have an ulterior motive to tell you that he's not one of the most honest people that they've ever known. Again, why would you want Alec Murdoch delivering this to you or delivering your statement of credibility? And I am so sorry that I went to such lengths to hide. My addiction always goes back to the day. And my criminal actions from you because I know that you would have helped me before things got so out of control. Yeah, there you go. The judge is like, how much time left? I, I really don't know why he at some point didn't intervene, other than this might have just been, this is such a car wreck. Uh, let's, you know, let's let it play out. We got the snot going, still not a tear. Yes. Yeah. He really thinks a lot of people would have helped him had he reached out. <coughs> Hey, I just stole a couple hundred thousand dollars from me. Will you help me get off the drug? Yeah. People just tapping their hands, like, get this over with. I wonder if, oh, and that lady's checking her nails. Oh, like, yes. huh, I need a manicure. I wonder if I should book that partners. now or? <laughs> the only one I see, I assume you're the only one here. Talk to you as hard as it is. I believe this is his law partner, or one of them. I'm so sorry. I'm so that sorry. I so much trouble for people. That I love so much. Nobody really seems to be eating this up like, oh, it's so good. Nope. You. Although I will say, JJ did a little bit, yes. I'm sorry I let you down. I'm sorry that I humiliated each of you. I'm sorry that I caused you to have to go through what you've been through. I'm sorry that I destroyed my law firm. Yeah, law firm Look, they're fucked. That you know that I dearly love. And I'm sorry I let you down. Yeah. Do you think people like had to sit there? I'm sorry that I've caused each of you to be questioned. In his uh, cell with his attorneys going, okay, here's how these people feel about you. Everyone here's you. the appropriate way to react. So you need to tell them that you feel the this way, you feel that way, and this way. Because I don't know that Alec by himself yeah, has the capacity to pull those emotions in, to feel them, and translate them as of being empathetic to them. Yeah, that's a good point. I did notice somebody's on their phone, yeah, like, uh, doing something. So they let so phones in the courtroom, it looks like. There was a guy behind JJ yesterday that was, like, so recording uh, on his phone as it was happening. Which I found wow. kind of odd. Such I always thought that that wasn't allowed. There's, I think, one of Creighton Waters people on her phone. She's just like wittering or something. Such good. And she's probably sending something to somebody who's not there, going, "You're not going to believe this shit when you hear it." Probably right. And such decent people. 
Oh, these pauses. And I, again, am so sorry that I went to such great lengths. I just threw his head back. I had my addiction. Yep, and he rolled his eyes a little bit. And to hide my criminal acts from each of you, I know you would have helped me <coughs> before things got so out of control. There's no doubt in my mind. Out of control doesn't, uh, doesn't sum it up. He's kind of rocking back and forth. Editing. His tag is sticking up. I said, John. Yeah, it is. That he was a great mentor to all of us. I learned so many good things from him. Oh. Okay. Is this sure. just Looks such like a rambling mess of insanity? Yeah. I am sorry. And My there mentor, you go. I learned so many great things from you. But you were, look at where I am right now. You were right the other day when you watched this before I did, and you were like, don't waste your time. Like, you'll never get those minutes of your life back. You're right. You really won't if you you really go through this whole day. I, I, I think we, we saw the beef of it now. I think we saw the... Yeah. He had pretty much said the Satterfield thing was, you know, made An up, uh, which I'm curious as to anyone else making that observation uh, and if that will go anywhere. But, yeah, I think Alec is pretty much he said what he needs to say. And uh, I think that's I think we'll end on that piece of it there for him and rather uh, not subject ourselves to enduring any more of, uh, of Alec's uh, testimony. But I would like to see um, the the testimony or the uh, sentencing uh, by uh, the judge here. We'll go to that uh, in our next segment. Press subscribe wherever you download podcasts so you don't miss that as we continue to break down the sentencing of Alec Murdoch. Stay with us.